you managing in maddening times? Sure you are. Sure you are. Times that we've never even seen before in our lives. Sure you are. But who cares whether things suck? What's important is what you do about it. It is the job of management to bring good answers to bad circumstances. Companies plan strategies like bad kung fu movies. You ever seen a bad kung fu movie? You actually only have to see one, you're automatically pre-qualified to see all of them. Because they're all exactly the same, right? We have our hero, who's a simple, humble kind of guy. But he's also a blazing kung fu master. And he's a normal kind of guy, except for one strange twist. There's just one thing that gets our hero's nose wide open in every bad kung fu film. And that is he loves walking down dark, deserted roads in the middle of the night. Just his thing. Some people golf, somebody, it's just his thing. Right? Invariably, in every great B kung fu film, that dark, deserted road leads to the town square, which is also dark and deserted because it's the middle of the night. And invariably, in every bad kung fu film, our hero is promptly jumped by five bad guys. And they are also blazing kung fu masters. Evidently, everybody in town is a blazing kung fu master. Right? And our hero would be toast, and the movie would be over in 20 minutes, except for the strange etiquette found in every bad kung fu film, which is that only one of the bad guys goes after our hero at a time, while the others docilely wait until he's dispatched. They go, my turn. Okay? They are five bad dumb guys, and companies plan strategies the same way. You're going to decide you want to become branded. You're going, to get, you're going to get wicked smart about branding, why you should really do this, why you should do it now. And you're going to develop a branding strategy, and you're going to fund that strategy, and then you're going to execute that strategy. And your competition is just going to wait until you've finished all of those moves, and then say, oh, our turn. It doesn't work that way. The competition is in meetings right now, too. Not, not as good as this one, but they're in meetings right now, too. And all the good work you've done, no matter how long you've been here, to grow and protect this company. Well, that's just dealt you into the game. Now, you're in the big game. You're in the game with the, the most aggressive, intelligent, well-resourced players around. The question is, which company wins the game? And the company that wins the game is the first company that understands three things. You can't sell it outside if you can't sell it inside. You must be branded for how you sell, not just what you sell. You have to start with passion to create it in others. Now that's fine. That's fine. That's fine for this company too. That's fine if you choose to only be relevant to your customer when you want them to buy something from you. That's fine, but there's a lot of stuff happening in your customer's world, particularly these days. And if you choose to only be relevant to them when you are trying to push them to buy something from you, then you have chosen to be irrelevant to them for most of the time. That's a very dangerous business strategy. <laughs>